Susan with LifeSkate.com with Melissa Bullenhage, senior ladies competitor representing the University of Delaware Figure Skating Club. Melissa came in first at the recent South Atlantic Regionals and she's busily preparing for Eastern Sectionals which begin on Friday. She's hoping to finish in the top four at Eastern Sectionals in order to qualify for U.S. Nationals which will be held in Spokane, Washington in January. Tell me how your season has been going so far. So far it started really well. Um, my first competition was at Liberty Open which was held in Pennsylvania. At that competition, I put out um, triple axel for the first time, and I landed it, but I didn't get full credit. It was downgraded, but it was nice to like put out there and just, just like perform it. I'm just gonna train as hard as I can for Eastern Sectionals at the University of Delaware, which is my home rink. It's my first time competing at my home rink. That's also what like helped me get together for my practices. It's like I'm competing in my home rink. This is my first time that I can compete in front of my friends and like it I'm just really excited for it. Everyone's like, isn't that Thanksgiving weekend? I'm like, no, you can come, you can come. <laughs> can you talk a little about your short and long programs? Uh, my short program is skating to Memoirs of a Geisha, which I skated to last year. Um, I just wanted to perform it well, like the way it's supposed to. I wanna like bring the audience in and like get everyone into my program. And my long program is um, Les Mis, which is, I just, there's so much I can bring to that program. This is such powerful music and I want to, it's challenging to meet with the music. And like the whole program goes through so many emotions and I hope I portray that. And also put out the jumps there and put the jumps out for both my short and long and just don't hold back just go all out and hopefully I can do that. So being a student yes. at a university level student and juggling skating your social life professional life and all that any tricks to being focused and and maintaining uh, maintaining your focus? Um, what I learned last year is last year I wanted I just set my goals so high for figure skating. I made figure skating everything. And I took um, the school year, off. I was planning to take the whole school year off. And then that made me crazy. <laughs> I was so great. Like I felt like I was putting my life on the ice. And then I felt like I almost lost the reason why I'm on the ice. Um, I think it's important to have balance, to have a backup plan. Um, with skating and school and like having a social life it's so important just to just have everything and like stepping on the ice when there's everyone like thousands of eyes watching you and your competitors staring you down hoping you fall I I just make it it's my thing so it's just me and the ice and nothing else matters kind of interesting. So what you're saying is when you made figure skating the focus exclusively, it actually became distracting and yeah. you needed all these other... Ex I needed everything. I just, I needed my friends there. Like I kind of shut my friends down because I lost them because they were so involved in school. And I just, I just went crazy. I was just like skating into everything, skating into my life. And it just like didn't work out. But it's nice to have like something to keep me busy. To, after a rough day at the rink, I can go home and do schoolwork, and like I'll be like, oh, okay, well, <laughs> at least I can do something, right? And it just works out it's just so much better. Now you mentioned that you're a part-time student at University of Delaware. Yes, uh, what are you studying, and what do you want to do ultimately? Maybe 20 years down the road. 20 years down the road, oh my gosh, I'll be so old. <laughs> uh, She's 19. <laughs> oh, it's my last teen year. I don't know what I'm going to do with my life, but I'm going to try to um, major in exercise science so I can become a physical therapist. Hopefully, I can stay in touch with sports. I love competition. I love sports. I love athletes and everything about the whole game. So hopefully I'll be able to 
just like help athletes get through their injuries. Maybe, I don't know, work for the 76ers or the Phillies <laughs> and be their physical therapist. That'd be great. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> People? Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's my goal. Um, Hopefully, I'll become a full-time student at the University of Delaware soon, and then maybe go somewhere else for graduate school. But we'll see. Do you know how many more years you think you have you have in you to be? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I just I just know that I want to end on a good note. I don't know when I can let go of this sport. Probably till someone cuts my legs off. <laughs> I have no idea, but I'm so addicted to it. Like, it's just what I love to do, and I don't want to stop. <laughs> it's like, I can't stop. <laughs> like, but we'll see. Now, last question. Now, you, I know your uh, parents are both Filipino. Yes. Um, do you think just being from the, being Filipino and the cultural and, and uh, just the whole environment has made you a little bit different in terms of being a skater or no impact at all? Definitely a little different. I mean, every culture has a different impact on every person. Um, and right now I skate for Team USA. And that's also what, like, the United States is for, is, like, bringing a whole bunch of cultures in. I definitely learned a lot from my culture. But I just want to be a role model for not only the Filipinos, but for everyone, for kids, for I just want to teach someone something new and like inspire someone in a little way and I feel like I can do that through skating. <laughs>